Today's topic is, Emergency Management of Stroke. As with any emergency, start with the stabilization of the patient. Brain stem strokes can cause loss of consciousness, in which case, intubation is required, to maintain the airway patency. Stroke patients are usually stable, but for the sake of completeness, I'll mention the breathing as well. However, it is very important to measure the blood pressure of the patient. Most stroke patients, have elevated pressure levels. Measure the GCS under the disability. If there's a history of a fall, check the entire body for secondary injuries. Following the stabilization, take a quick history. Time of onset of symptoms, is important to find out, if the patient is within the thrombolytic window, which is 4.5 hours. Then ask about the progression, as rapid recovery of weakness, is indicating transient ischemic attack, rather than a stroke. The history is followed up with a quick neurological examination. After the assessment, get done a non-contrast CT scan of the brain. Look for hemorrhagic changes, as the management of hemorrhagic strokes, completely differs, from that of ischemic strokes. If you were able to exclude hemorrhagic stroke, consider it as an, ischemic stroke, and proceed with the algorithm. Remember that, ischemic features in the CT scan, are delayed features. And we can't wait that long. CT scan is used, only to exclude hemorrhagic strokes. Revascularization is the treatment of ischemic strokes. Fibrinolytic therapy with Altpace, is the most commonly used method of revascularization. But new methods, like vascular interventions, or stenting, are also gaining, rapid popularity. Altpace doses, 0.9 mg per kilogram body weight, but the maximum dose is 90 mg. 10% of the dose is, given as the loading dose, and the rest is, given within an hour. But before you give out pace, you have to check, whether the patient fulfills the inclusion criteria, and the exclusion criteria for thrombolysis. Inclusion criteria, includes. The patient should be, within the thrombolytic window, which is 4.5 hours, from the onset of symptoms, presence of a measurable degree of weakness. Scores like NIHSS score, can be used for this. Score, between 5 and 25, is considered ideal for thrombolysis. And the symptoms, should not be rapidly resolving, as we don't thrombolize, patients with transient ischemic attacks. Please pause and, go through the exclusion criteria for thrombolysis. Following thrombolysis, the patient should be monitored, at an intensive care unit. After 24 hours, another non-contrast CT is taken, to exclude hemorrhagic transformation in the brain. After excluding this, we start antiplatelet drugs and statins. We also investigate, to find the etiologies for the stroke, and manage those risk factors. Physiotherapy, and occupation therapies are also considered at this stage. The management of hemorrhagic stroke, is usually, controlling the blood pressure. I'll make another video in the future, to discuss the hypertensive emergencies. I'd love to hear your feedback. I hope you liked the video. I plan on making more emergency videos, in the future. You can subscribe if you are interested. Thanks.